Okay, so this is a quick little video here, page 105, question one. This ellipse here with the Kia logo in the middle. So, we can see they give us the distance of our major axis, it's 140. They also give us the height of our minor axis. So if we remember from today, we're gonna to have to draw circles, a major circle and a minor circle containing these two axes, okay? So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna lightly draw a line across the page, okay? That's gonna be my major axis in that. Now it said the distance of the major axis is 140 millimeters altogether, okay? I need to draw that major circle, so I need to get half of that. So it's 70, so half of 140 is 70. So I'm setting 70 on my compass, point to the compass on the line. That now is my major circle drawn. I'm gonna draw my line straight up here then. So somewhere in there now is my minor circle and my minor axis. So my minor axis is 70 millimeters long altogether, meaning I need a radius of 35 to get the minor circle. So point in the center, same place. So that now is my minor circle. I'm going to rub out just my extensions just so we don't get confused, okay? I'm also going to write them on it, right? This is minor axis, major axis, sorry. And this one going up here then is my minor axis. This is my major circle. And minor circle. My next step now is to divide my circle into 60 30. Okay? So we divide it 60 30 all the way out to that major circle through the center point. So that now is my circle divided, okay? So, I'm gonna write out my little note again that we had today in class, okay? So this is gonna be key for you to remember what way we do this. So it's from the major circle, go parallel to the minor axis. So from the major circle, we're going parallel to the minor axis. So what I'm gonna do, right, I'm gonna do that little step here first, okay? Yeah? So from the major circle, which is my big one, I'm going parallel to the minor axis, which is my axis running up and down vertical here. So I'm gonna do all that and all of these. So from the major circle, which is my big circle, parallel to the minor axis. Major circle, parallel to the minor axis. Now the second part of that is from the minor circle, go parallel, The major axis. So this time now from the minor circle we're going parallel to that major axis we've drawn. So from the minor circle which is my smaller circle I'm going parallel to the major axis which runs vertical. That's a, after giving us thin triangular shapes that we see today as well. Now, I know that each point of the major axis, so the very far right ones, and the minor axis are points on the ellipse already, and I'm just going to join in between all them triangular ones in as well, okay? I'm actually going to use a kind of a black pin here just so it stands out that bit more because I went quite heavy with them just so they'd stand out feet. Remember what I said for these? 
So pencil on a point and stare at the next point. Okay, that's how we make it look free flowing. So that's our ellipse there now, drawn in. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to get the, the main square here first. Then you can see in the question they're 5 millimeters by 5 millimeter squares. I'm going to let you do the logo yourself, okay? But to find the actual logo, where it is, so it's 90 from the center line. So that's 45 and 45, so 90 there, 0 there, and doing our straight lines. It's 20 millimeters below the center line, which is here, and 15 above the center line. Then we just go 5 by 5 to make all the boxes, and we do in the Kia logo ourselves. Okay? So that's the question there complete. I'll let you fill it in the Kia logo, the Kia logo um, but that's getting the ellipse, which is the main part of the question.